It's only the third time that uh, Yorkshire and London have met in a final. Here come the teams. Chelsea on the left. And Leeds on the right. Chelsea in bright red. Tracks and tops. And Leeds in light blue. And what a tremendous welcome for them. Two of the greatest sides in modern British football, deserving every cheer that they get. There are the two skippers, Ron Harris and Billy Bremner. Billy Bremner, Footballer of the Year. Led out by two of the most professional managers in this game. Dave Sexton, oh there's Norman Hunter. The two managers, Dave Sexton, it's his first Wembley, he didn't get here as a player and he's not yet been here as a manager. And Don Revy, who came twice as a player with Manchester City, there's Don Revy on the right. And he's been here with Leeds in the FA Cup in 1965 when they were beaten by Liverpool. And again in 1968 in the League Cup when they beat the Arsenal. Two great managers who really deserve everything that comes their way this afternoon. Jackie Charlton up on that goal line again. And Eddie Gray with the corner. Bremner right up too. The same towards Jack Charlton. Kick. No, it's a goal! Jack Charlton in fact got a head to it. And a Chelsea player, John Hollins I think it was, missed the ball on the goal line. And it couldn't have gone more than a yard over the line. Twenty minutes gone, leads a goal ahead. That's a referee Eric Jennings. Gives the free kick which Harris takes. McCready. Hutchinson trying to flick it. Back head it. It's gone to uh, Hausman with a shot. And a goal! Oh, a terrible mistake there by Sprague. And Hausman has scored the softest of equalisers. Mick Jones falls to his knees in despair. 1 1. What a tragedy for Sprague. Well, there it is now. There's the shot, and you can see Gary Sprake going down. He looks to have it covered, but it's another soft goal, the second in this final. And looking at that again in slow motion, absolutely reminiscent of one of Wembley's greatest and uh, most controversial goals, the one that won the Cup for Cardiff in 1927 when they beat the Arsenal. And there's Osgood and Hunter having a right flick up there in the middle of the field. A good run here by Giles as well. Got it in first time towards Clark. Against the post. How unlucky can you get? Jones, a goal! Mick Jones, 2-1. And Sprake is jumping for joy at the other end as well. This was started by a superb ball from Billy Bremner that you see there, beautifully judged, a first time one over. They hit the post, and then you can see how cleverly there Lorimer holds off Dempsey to enable Jones to come in and take that shot. So now the time really is running out for Chelsea. Uh yes, Don Revy looking at that watch. Every minute seeming like an hour to him, I would think. Hollins to curl it in again. Hutchinson! A goal! By Ian Hutchinson! And Leeds United prostrate on the deck. Lorimer is down. Bremner is down. Jones is down. They are shattered by it. A superb goal by Ian Hutchinson.
Sun. Well, there it is, yet another goal from a free kick out there, without any doubt. And here it is, Hutchinson has had such a fine game, comes in and wins it beautifully on the near post, and Sprake had no chance with that one at all. And there goes the whistle for the end of extra time. And for the first time since 1912, the FA Cup needs a replay. The first time since it came to Wembley, it needs a replay. Man of the match for my money, Eddie Gray, this brilliant number 11 for Leeds United. And not far behind him, of course, Peter Bonetti, superb and courageous in goal for Chelsea. 2-2 two -two it stands. 2-2 two -two it finishes. And the replay, of course, is at Old Trafford on April the 29th. Christine has a look up to see where Muller is. We'll give that back to Nyman. Through ball for Glovatz. Glovatz being chased by Needham. That's a good ball into Van Gogh. Good drive and a goal. Yes. Van Gogh and that is a dramatic goal. And once again, Cologne break and the long striding. Herbert Newman has looked and finds Van Gogh, and he's all right. It's one against one, Van Gogh against Shilton. And now it's Muller to score goal number two. Oh, my goodness me, Forrest are in real trouble. Two nothing down at home, they look at the linesman, they ask for the offside flag, it didn't come, but they've only themselves to blame there. Needham and Lloyd in the box, the corner taken, Bowyer off to Robertson. Needham. And then he's looking for Battles. And that was a beautiful goal from Gary Battles. In the same net that he scored his first European Cup goal against Liverpool, has dragged Forrest back into the game. 2 1 now to Cologne. Now Robertson with a chance really to go at the Cologne defence. The chip. Bertles knocks it down. And Boya scores the goal. Constructed goal for Ian Bowyer. This man of all parts, man of all seasons. Superb stuff by Forrest that's got that crowd roaring. It's 2 2. Here's Woodcock. McGovern. There goes Bertles. Turn shoots. Oh, it was great. And a superb goal. John Robertson. What a fantastic goal by John Robertson. 3-2 Nottingham Forest. 17 minutes into the second half. Oh, you won't see much better than that. Well, that, that sums it up. Bertles across and Lloyd in. And McGovern trying to win this back. But Muller knocks it off for Van Gogh. It's one-on-one -on -one at the moment. Van Gogh and Okadira. Is this going to be dramatic? His first touch. Oh, yes it is. Oh my goodness me. What a way to come on as a substitute. And that man Van Gogh did it again. Oh, Padera. Well, you can't do anything better than that. What an incredible moment. For the first time... And Manchester City with Power and Mackenzie on the ball here this time. Power. Oh, a save and a goal! The skipper who has scored